Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Salutations to all my Mimi Crafters and non Mimi Crafters alike. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you find something here that makes you want to keep coming back. Don't forget to hit the like button, notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't already. Now on to the projects. The first project is coffee table or tiered tray decor. You'll need 20 blocks for this project. I'll be using Aileen's Tacky Glue for all the painted blocks and Super Glue's Wood Glue for all of the natural blocks. Both can be purchased at Dollar Tree. Start by making four squares. Be as accurate as you can be. Next, make two sets of L's and wait for everything to dry. Take two of the squares. Make sure that the blocks are going in the same direction. Glue them together at a right angle as seen on screen. Double check their position using the outside corner of the square. The more accurate these are, the better your project will turn out. Make two sets. Glue the two sets together in the position seen here. If you have them in the right position, there will be a perfect cross right in the middle and it will measure five inches by five inches. When these have dried, dry fit the center square. It may fit better in one direction rather than the other because of the irregularity of the squares. You may have to spin it around and try it in a couple different positions. Once you've found the proper position, turn your project to the side and place some glue right in the very center, as seen on screen, that should be one and a quarter inches, and place one L on top. You're going to want to let that dry. Here's a great hack for removing glue out of really tight places. Take a toothpick and wrap a little piece of cotton on the tip of it, dip it in some water, and you can reach right into really tight spots with that. When that first L has dried, spin your project around and you're going to apply the other L. This time you're going to put the glue in the same spots Plus, you're going to put it on the end of one of the blocks and on the side of the other, just as you see on screen. And here's the project all finished. Here's two stacked vertically. And here they're stacked vertically with the top one being turned a little bit. Here it is in the natural wood. And also with the top turned a little bit. These are a little mix and match. And this is what they look like when you put them on their sides. Our next project is a wreath and will take 96 blocks. First make 24 squares as we did earlier in the video. Make sure when you lay them out that they're all going in the same direction. Take 12 of the blocks and place them in a circle. If you put them all 
points to points that should be pretty close to a perfect circle. Make it as round as you can. This is how you'll be gluing on the second layer. You're going to want a block to be perfectly even with the corners of two of the blocks underneath it and centered so that you have a triangle as seen on screen. Place four dots of glue and secure it. Do the same with the other 11 squares on the second layer, going all the way around. And this is how the second project will look. Our third project is a lantern requiring 177 blocks. Start by making 30 squares. On this project, I put the squares together by first assembling letter L's and then putting those together later on. For the first side, we'll be placing eight squares in this pattern. I determine the spacing with the block, but we will be checking that with a square as well. Glue the blocks together as you see on screen. Again, be sure that the blocks are all going in the same direction. Make sure both sides are square, that they line up perfectly so that the sides fit together when you assemble the project. The next side will be the opposite pattern. Do the same as before, using a block as a spacer, and glue the blocks together as you see on screen. Again, use a square to check the alignment. Make one more in this pattern and make one more in the original pattern. Try fit opposite pattern sides together. And 
place glue as you see here. Use a level to make sure the side is plumb. And then put some support on either side of it while it dries. Ironically, you can use boxes of tumbling tower blocks. If you're having trouble with the fit, you can use some sandpaper to make adjustments. For the last side, glue this bottom part on first. Swing the side up into position and glue it up top. Remove any excess glue with the damp paper towel and then just let everything dry. Both the bottom and the top of the lantern will require 27 blocks glued together like this. Dry fit the lantern on top of its base before gluing. I secured the bottom with tape while I allowed it to dry. Make a nab for the lid by gluing three blocks together as shown here. And then gluing those three blocks to the center of your lid. The lid will remain removable. And this is how this one turned out. This is the day look. And here she is at night.
Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you team fairy lights? Are you team pillar candle? Let me know. Till the next one. Bye.